All right, folks. Handrails. Figured I'd do a little video on this right here. It's gonna be super simple, just a four by four on the top and the bottom. And I'm gonna put a four by four in the middle so there'll be one touching the floor. Let me get around here and I'll sort of show you. Well, I'll get y'all caught up in a minute. I'll just explain what I'm gonna do. Every four inches is gonna have a nine sixteenths pipe. Uh, we don't have a four by four in the middle, like in the middle right there. And then that'll keep everything sort of true. Same thing on the stairs because there's such a long span. I just don't want it to warp in the middle. Excuse the mess right there. That's just some stuff from all the construction we've been doing trying to and hadn't cleaned it up yet. But uh, did get the septic in, so we're good on that. Got the septic tank in. Got the, uh, I come out here and spread the uh, dirt. I had 10 loads of dirt out here. So we got some topsoil, put some grass seed on it put two big rolls of hay on all this stuff to keep it from washing and then we got 92 inches of rain the other night and most of the seed are going to be down there but maybe uh maybe some of them stuck but back on the handrails i know i'm all over the place i've got so much stuff going on it's unbelievable so i'll get y'all caught up in a little bit sort of show you what i'm going to try to do i'm probably going to go ahead and stain these things beforehand and that way we're not trying to cut in around all those spindles and you know splashing it all over the porch right there you know it's just gonna be a whole lot easier to go ahead and stain them beforehand y'all hang in there i'm about to get this done all right here we go i think i got pretty much every one of them cut and i got hannah out here yeah we're not going to talk about how bad i suck at saint staining stuff but you know. all right looks good looks good i mean we're just roughing it in it can always be going back and touch stuff if it gets because they're going to get skin up when we installing them anyway but you can see where I pre-drilled their little hole. Every little hole. I don't know exactly how big I need to make them, so I just took a small bit. And of course, that'll be the four by four in the middle that goes all the way to the floor to help keep this stuff from bowing up and down. Those right there are going to be the stairs, front and back. And I'm going to put a little handrail right there. And then, of course, a little handrail short right there, but nothing on this side. Just the one little handrail right there because it's just only three steps to get up in there. But it's coming on, it's fixing to look, it's fixing to start looking good. Oh, still waiting on the spindles to come in. And oh, they're supposed to they're supposed to ship them here today and then start, you know, should start putting them together pretty quick. Looking good though, Goob. Yeah, coming on with it. It's good enough. Yeah, look at that red face. Let me tell you. Tell them how hot it is out here, Goob. It's warm. It's warm and it's, it's humid. It's about two million degrees. Yeah. With 400% humidity. Ex at least at, at least yeah all right y'all hang in there we're gonna get them done all right folks y'all tell me what you think oh I got done with the back porch other than cleaning up and touching up some stains stuff like that got finished with it oh about dark yesterday and fixing to start on the front i'll walk y'all through it in just a little bit when i get started on the front give you a better idea of how i'm doing it but ordered the uh, the little old pipes off of, I think Amazon, I believe is where they came from. And I put them four inches apart. Well, I put them four inches apart on, on the handrails up here on the porch, and then I put them five inches apart going down the stairs right here, and it still works out at about four inches because of the angle. But I just laid it out, you know, five. 10, 15, 20, you know, like that down there, but the distance between them still gonna be around the same thing as up here. Maybe an eighth of an inch off, but not too bad. And it's easy to lay out, so. But, I'm gonna get around on the front and see if I can't get it, uh, get it on, get it knocked out this morning. Y'all hang in there. It's gonna look like a house for sure now. All right, here we go, getting a start on the front porch. Got Hannah laying out the hole for the spindles mm -hmm. on the stairs right there because she's got better eyes than I do up close. And got this right here started, so. That's what it looks like beforehand. That's what it looks like halfway, and then we just cap it with this one right here. I got the holes driven on this one. Nothing to it. Just lining all that stuff up. A little bit of a pain in the honey.
especially on those uh, stairs. stairs right there. They, those get to be a little aggravating. But I'll get y'all a finished video in probably, what, two or three hours ago, we ought to have this thing whooped together and be done because the hard part's over with. Well, drilling the holes is probably the most aggravating. But it uh, won't be long now. All right, folks, got it finished up. Probably put another coat of stain on those uh, four by fours, you know, the handrail part of it. Yeah. Clean up a little bit. That's what Goob's up there doing, cleaning up. But it turned out good. I mean, really, really good. Too bad. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, about busted it. Everywhere. Yeah, we got. There's a lot of drilling right there, y'all. A lot of drilling. That look good, though. 48 foot long porch. Walk around here to the back, and the back's a mess. Sharp as a tack, ain't it? Sharp as a tack. What nothing to it? Just get a good drill bit. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Appreciate y'all.